everyone, this is Savla. Thank you for joining us for another segment of Ethiopian at Home. Today's episode is part of our Meatless Monday. So today I'm going to make vegetarian sambusa. i walk you through the ingredients. There are a lot of ingredients, so I'm going to go slow. We have one cup of carrots, one cup of peas, cooked al dente, we have trio of peppers, one red pepper, one yellow pepper, and one green pepper chopped. I have two cups of potatoes chopped and cooked al dente. We have one teaspoon of garlic, half a cup of scallions, Two tablespoon of jalapeno peppers, one third cup of oil, of course we have our salt, red onions, two cups, chopped, and I have our spices. And these, there are two packets. One packet is the spices itself, another packet is the lentils. It's one cup of lentil, which I already cooked al dente. And this will be, these two packets will be included as one item and you can purchase this at our, our website. I also have one packet of egg roll, egg roll wrap and I also have our uh, sambusa maker. Now I'll go through this, how to use this once we get done mixing this and cook the uh, ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here for now. So the first thing we're going to do is turn my heat up a little bit to medium high. Okay, I'm going to put in the one-third oil. Like that. We're going to add in the two cup onions, red onions. Can already hear it sizzle a little bit. Okay, mix it up real good. I can. I'm also going to add the bell peppers. Add them all together like that. Now everybody have their own version of vegetarian sambusa. This is my creation and the spices are my creation as well. We're going to put the scallions in like that. Okay, that's that. And our garlic. Oh, we almost knocked off most of the ingredients already. Okay. Okay. And our jalapeno peppers. This is two tablespoons. It looks doesn't look pretty already. Okay, now mix this really good. Okay, like that until the onions are soft. And we're going to cook this, no water, just like that with the oil. We're going to cook this for 15 minutes. When I come back in 15 minutes, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients and our spice and um, we'll go ahead and be done by then. I will talk to you soon. Hi everyone, I'm back. Now you're, it's been 15 minutes, so your dish, your pot should look like this. Next, 
we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. First thing we're going to do is add in our spices. And I'm going to show you what it looks like so you get an idea of what the spice looks like. Get all of that in there. Yep. Mmm, it smells really good. So your spice, so the spices looks like this. Okay, and we're going to put that in all over. Okay, mix it in. Okay. Now we're going to put in half a cup of water. Okay. So the spices can be incorporated. There we go. Okay. Once we get that in there, okay, turn our heat down to medium. I'm going to put in our carrots and peas. Okay, carrots and peas. Wow, that looks good already. Okay. Okay, we're going to put in our lentil. This is one cup of lentil. Cooked al dente. Okay. Next comes the potatoes. Whoa, here we go. Okay. Mix it real good. Look at that. Okay. Mix it real good like that. Okay, now we're going to cook this for another 15 minutes to make sure that the spice is cooked and there all the ingredients are incorporated together. Okay, wow look at that. Okay. Now we're going to add one fourth cup of water because we don't want this to dry out if we're going to cook it for 15 minutes. Just sprinkle it like that. Okay. Low and slow. Medium. We're going to add in, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of salt. You can add as many as you want or as little. Okay, that's kosher salt. I love using kosher salt because it just tastes so good and you don't need as much. Okay. Okay, let this cook on medium for 15 minutes. When I come back, we're going to start making our sambusa. See you in 15 minutes. Hi everyone, it's been 15 minutes. Uh, it's done. Now it should look like this. Next, we're going to start filling the sambusa. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you two and then from there you can uh, go ahead and make as many as you want. Um, I'm using this because this works the best for me. I know those of you who've been in Ethiopian restaurant, uh, you know, sambusa, traditional sambusa is triangle. Then again, I'm not traditional today. So I'm using this, which will 
be really nice. Um, you know, I'm making my own. It's my own creation. So let's go ahead and you can purchase this and the spices from our website. So let's go ahead and make one. Okay. I have here, let me put this away here. Okay. Okay. What I do is I take the first layer. It's thin, so you have to be careful. Put it here, down like that. I mean, it took me a long time to get it right. Please don't be frustrated or, you know, give up because you can't get it the first time. And take some water and just put it around here. Okay, just like that. You're putting water like around where that is. Like this. Perfect. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna take another layer, just a single. You see how thin they are? It's very, very thin. Put the second layer on top here. Okay. Like that. Believe me, it looks like it's a long process, but it's worth it. Okay. Now I'm going to fill it in. Don't be afraid to just kind of pile it up like that. Pile it up as much as you want. Oh, that looks good. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is, again, take a little bit of water, go around it like that. Okay, like this, nice, okay, take a single layer and put it up like this, like that, again, take some water all the way around like that all the way around like this okay like this like that okay and then take another single layer Put it up like this, okay? So that will seal everything in. Now you can find these egg roll wraps at the produce section. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and scrunch them. Scrunch it real good. Pick it up like that. Don't be afraid to scrunch it. Okay. Now what you do is take your hand and cut the pieces like this while holding it with the other hand, okay? There we go. Here we go, see? Look at that. Perfect. Like I said, if you don't get it right the first time, don't get frustrated. Just make some more, that's all. Okay, now we take it out. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Kind of, it'll pop out. There we go. And what I like to do also at this point, bring my plate, okay, 
and take a fork and we're gonna reinforce this right here okay dip in water a little bit like this and go over this end so this way to seal tight okay like that just like that go around don't worry if it gets a little wet now don't go all the way into the uh, the filling because I want you to poke it just the ends and the groove is actually just made with the fork so you don't have to worry about messing it up this pretty look like that go all the way around go all the way around like that okay there we go like that okay I'm gonna take this just cut this piece off just a little like that okay now we made one already how easy is that okay take that make sure it's dry okay let's dry this since we had water on it see how pretty it is now we're gonna make another one okay I'll slow down show you how to make another one it's very easy like I said you know if you can't get it the first time don't worry if you can't get it you can send me an email okay or call us and we'll be more than happy to help you okay let's make our second one same thing we did okay take the first layer like this just kind of push it in don't be afraid of it like that when I first started making I used to be so frustrated I'm like the second time I made it I'm like oh this is so easy to do okay take your hand like that if you got some more you know some water in here don't worry about it or you can take your paper towel and just kind of wipe it okay I'm gonna take the second one you can make as many as you want now this you can freeze it up to a month and uh, we made you know that's just so much of it or you can go ahead and get some more you know egg roll wraps and make as many as you want for parties or um, you know we have kids over this is a good way to get your kids to eat their vegetables and it tastes good okay yeah just you know put it in the freezer and anytime you make it take it out thaw it out okay and then make some more that's the great thing about this sambusa like that okay now I'm gonna take this put some more just like that pile it up okay because you got the hollow on this side and take it look at that woohoo there you go I put a lot on okay now just like we did last time okay single layer put it on top 
just like that don't be afraid to push it down okay just hold it like this and just push it down if it gets scrunchy like this don't worry about it okay like that this one and then take them some water now if you get grooves like this you wear folds lift the fold like that make sure there's water in there too like this okay just like that okay now we're going to take a single layer another one oops put it on top like that push it in hold it like this and just go around and just go around it okay just push it in like this because you want to seal it in okay now let's put this over here big little wrap we're going to take this scrunch it down hold it go around with your fingers like this make sure it's scrunched down like that like this okay now hold it with one hand take the other just the extra egg roll wrap just tear it off tear it off just like that how easy is that how easy is that okay all right now everything is scrunched down okay now lift it slowly how pretty is that let it come off kind of shake it give it a little there you go just a little try like that now we're going to put it here like I did the first one take a fork go around just scrunch it just towards the ends like I said don't go into the, the you know the filling part because you don't want to puncture anything go around like this you might think it's time consuming but it's really worth it believe me once you taste this you're gonna love it you're gonna want to make more of it okay here we go boom boom like that okay this okay okay go around a little bit more we're done like that okay there we go all sealed at the ends see how pretty it looks okay right now I made two. We're gonna heat our oil and fry, fry our uh, sambusa. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, our oil is hot. We're gonna go ahead and fry these. Okay, take this. Just put them in gently like that. And take the second one. Put it in gently. Oops, here we go. Okay.
they brown fast so make sure you check them if it's the heat is too high you can turn it down okay like that and you can take it and check it go ahead and turn it that looks amazing go ahead and turn this one too that looks beautiful okay Okay, just kind of turn them around so they can fry evenly. Sometimes you know one sun can be hotter than the other. Okay, just very gently check it to see if it's brown. A couple of minutes. Okay. okay, I think this is done. We don't want it too brown. Turn the heat off and I'm going to take them off gently. Place them on a paper towel so the oil can drain. There we go. Now how easy was that? Okay. Hi everyone, here's our finished product. I hope you enjoy them. Please stay tuned. The next day or two, I'll be making ground beef sambusa. You can also use ground chicken. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you soon.